Good morning. This is March the 30th, the devotional for the day. I would like to just give you some great news today that maybe you've never heard, but maybe you saw this little sign in the end zone on TV on Sunday, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever should believe in Him but have everlasting life. You know, we, we look at that and we say, what does that really mean to me and you? That means through the, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ on the day of, of, of when He was crucified, we were brought into a place where we could live and be in His presence, that we are never separated from God our Father. You remember the story when Jesus was on the cross, He made these words when he, all the sin of the world and all the sin of the people had been put on Him. He said, My Father, my God, why hast Thou forsaken me? And he was separated from his father. He had never been separated from God until that sin was put upon him. Our sin, your sin, my sin, the world's sin. And he says, I love the world so much that I came to die. And I was to hang on that awful cross. And on that day, the very skies turned black and it thundered and a storm blew. And the, the, the centurion at the, at the bottom of the cross says, Surely this was the Son of God. He died that our sins would be washed away. He died that we might live. He died that we might have life. He died that the Holy Spirit might come and live within me and you. God loves His creation so much that He gave the best for you and me. He gave the best that He had. You remember the story how, how Jacob had to take Isaac up on the mountain or Abraham had to take Isaac up on the mountain and, off, and offer him up as a sacrifice. And it represented man giving back to God the very seed of Abraham's seed of his own flesh. And it was in Hebrews, the, the, the 12th cha- 11th chapter in the 18th verse where he says he offered up him. He put him on the altar, tied him and bound him, took his dagger and was ready to kill Isaac for, for the sacrifice. And God stayed his hand says, Look in the brush. And there was a ram that was caught in the brush to be a sacrifice. You know, that very thought, God said, if man is willing to give back his best, I am willing to give my best. Christ was given that you and I might walk in that newness of life, that we might walk forgiven, that we might walk in the presence of a God who is holy and pure. You know, every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights. So let no thought and no intent of my heart or your heart Let us dwell on things that are good. Let us dwell on the things that are right. Let us think on things that are peaceful. And we will walk in the peace of God. Father, I thank you that every person has heard this, is walking in it, that their their whole attitude, their whole thoughts, the intents of their heart is changing. And they're beginning to be Christ-like, to be victorious in their walk, to be spiritual as, as spirit being, to begin to share with others what the love of God that's in their heart. You know, Romans 5, 5 says the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts so that we become Christ-like. God is love. Can you love somebody today that is unlovable? For God loved you when we were yet sinners. He loved us for His purity and His holiness. Father, thank you for every person that hears this. May they take it to their own heart and live it every day. In Jesus' name.